Hello there. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Don't be shy. I know this may be a bit different than your normal therapy session, but I take a lot of pride in my work. You're in safe hands. Before we begin, how about you tell me a little about yourself and why you're here today? I'm just going to be taking a few notes for reference. I want to make sure I can help you in any way I can. I see. So you've been feeling a little stressed out lately. That's quite alright. Stress is a normal thing, but it's good that you reached out when you were starting to feel like it was too much. Has anything in your life changed? Or is there anything in particular you feel may be causing this stress? Very understandable. Work and life balance are very important. If one starts to drown out the other, it can certainly cause stress. Do you make sure to take time for yourself? You know, after working and your other responsibilities? Hmm. Even if it's just an hour or two, it makes a big difference in the long run. Maybe you can read a book, or watch a movie, or even hang out with some friends. Whatever allows you to relax after a long day. Sometimes. And how often is sometimes? Well, that's no good. You aren't nearly getting enough time for yourself, dear. It seems like you have quite a bit on your plate. If you aren't taking the time to relax, it's no wonder you're so tense. I see. So you've been experiencing some odd dreams lately as well. I'd be interested to talk more about these dreams if you're open to the idea. While I wouldn't be able to call myself a dream interpreter per se, I think they can say a lot about you and what you're dealing with. Perhaps it's your mind's way of telling you something that you've been trying to ignore. So tell me, what kind of dreams have you been having? Hmm. So in these dreams, you've been meeting different characters in Wonderland? As in Alice in Wonderland? That's very interesting, I must say. And how are these characters? Are the dreams enjoyable, or are they scary? It's not every day I hear a patient talk about Wonderland characters. So let's see. So far, you've met the Cheshire Cat, the Mad Hatter, and the Rabbit. Tell me a little bit more about how they were in your dream. Hmm, fascinating. Very interesting dreams you've been having. Well, I think I have a few interpretations about all this. But, as I said, I'm no dream professional. Take what I say with a grain of salt, alright? The idea of you going to another world makes me wonder if you're perhaps not fulfilled in this one. Maybe you're finding yourself bored or simply wanting to escape. From what you've told me, it seems as though your life has been pretty stressful lately. Maybe this is your brain's way of coping with it all. The Cheshire Cat, for example. Perhaps they represent a friend of yours at work that makes you laugh and gives you things to think about. The Mad Hatter, well, maybe you're getting a little too frustrated with your day-to-day -day life. Maybe you don't feel as though you're fitting in, despite all the efforts that you make. However, just know that fitting in isn't everything. It's important to be yourself, and to not get caught up in what others want. That's just a little piece of advice for me personally, okay? <laughs> now, the Rabbit. Maybe she represents your fear of the unknown? When things in your life start changing, it's easy to get overwhelmed. Some of us have a tendency of imagining the worst case scenario, or a bunch of what ifs. While it's okay to be cautious of your choices, you shouldn't let it rule your life, alright? I don't think these dreams are necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, 
Perhaps it's your brain's way of coping, or trying to tell you something. Besides, you haven't met Alice yet. It can't be over until then, right? <laughs> now, having said all that, let's get started, shall we? As I'm sure you're aware, I specialize in relaxation therapy. I mainly use ASMR practices to help calm you. The rest of this session will be just that, so go ahead and get nice and comfortable. Let's see, I've gotten a list of your favorite sounds and triggers here. We have some tapping, scratching, and positive affirmations. All wonderful choices. I'll turn the lights down a bit and you go ahead and lay back on that couch there. Very good. Get nice and relaxed. Let's start off with a few sounds, shall we? While I try and do what the patient suggests, I like to throw in my own personal favorites here and there too. I hope you don't mind. Close your eyes. Just listen to the sound of this glass. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. Don't think about anything else. Just keep your eyes closed. Very good. Very good. Everything's all right. Everything's all right. Let's do a little bit of tapping next. Listen to the sounds and let your mind go blank. Don't let yourself get so stressed out. You're doing your best. And that's all that matters. You're doing a great job at whatever it is that you're doing. And pretty soon, all your hard work will pay off. You're an amazing person. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. Let's do some scratching sounds next, all right?
You're doing a great job. You're doing a very, very good job. Keep your eyes closed. Just focus on the sound. Let's end with some breathing exercises, all right? Take a deep breath in. And out. And in. Wonderful job. How do you feel? A little more relaxed? <laughs> That's great. I'm so happy to hear that. Don't worry. Times like this come and go. But they get better. Just remember what I said. Be sure to take some time for yourself, alright? Good. Feel free to come back anytime. No worries. Feel free to take a nap a little longer. Get a good rest. <laughs>